what's going on here? Oh. Division 2. A perfect hybrid build is a rare thing. You could dedicate all your time looking for one and it would not be time wasted. Along the way, we've tried and loved Slaughter, Game Over, and The Contender. Now, I bring you a 6 skill tier hybrid with up to 50% amplified damage, giving it the fastest time to kill over all other hybrids. It's elegantly simple, finely tuned, and exceptionally strong. It's the perfect blend. Hit the like right now, comment perfect blend, be sure to subscribe, and let's get the party started. This build should take you one to two days to assemble. I'm gonna quickly walk you through the build, then discuss the details after. I'm using the Capacitor Exotic AR to give 60% skill damage to the turret and drone. This weapon also gets 7.5% weapon damage per skill tier. I hacked the Striker's Battle Gear into a hybrid skill damage build, and you want all four pieces for this build. The Mask has skill damage. I rolled a skill tier and attached a crit mod. The gloves have skill damage, and a skill tier. The knee pads have crit chance and a skill tier. The holster has skill damage and a skill tier too. The chest is wyvern for 10% skill damage. I have max crits on it and glass cannon for the talent. I recommend this over kinetic momentum to get the most out of your assault rifle also. Be sure to stick around after for our alternative versions of this build. The backpack is memento for the three core attributes. We are utilizing every benefit this backpack offers. The primary weapon is able to get weapon damage from this red core and the six skill tiers too, and get the 30% weapon damage from the stack trophies we pick up, as well as 30% skill efficiency, making this the best backpack option for the build. Remember, the skills perform stronger than you see on paper because of all the buffs from the weapon and talents. Hey, if you're looking to play the Division 2 in new and exciting ways, this is the right channel. Join my Discord for more action and consider becoming a member of Texas Players Club. It's only a buck, don't miss out. Hit the join button below to get started. Also, if you dig what I'm putting down, I'd appreciate the like, comment, and a subscribe. This helps me help you, and I have lots more where this came from. I'm running the gunner specialization for 10% armor on kill, and so we don't have to worry about ammo. I found that this was only an issue for solo legendary, but it was still rare that I ran out. I'm going to show you some solo legendary so you can see how amazing this build actually performs. The start of the District Union Arena Legendary Stronghold is where builds go to die. The first real test is the tanks. If the build can't hold them back, it's not good enough to solo legendary. It's a DPS check basically, and this build can destroy all three tanks in less than 30 seconds. That's sensational. Now, I'm going to use this build to clear the first checkpoint under three minutes. If a build can hold its own to solo legendary, then it will work fantastic in group as well. Not to mention, absolutely destroy heroic content. I will be showing a little bit of group play in this video and in this week's live stream as well as heroic. I live stream for Texas Players Club members on Thursdays and do late nights live with Tux streams on Saturdays for the entire community. This is where Division 2 enthusiasts gather to exchange some great knowledge nuggets. You should be there. If you can't make it, the replays are hosted on my channel. When I find a reason to use four pieces of striker, I find myself asking why we don't use this set as often as we should. 
Hits give us up to 25% amplified damage, and it can be more than that too if you run the backpack and chest. I think it's because it comes just as fast as it goes. That's the reason why people don't like it. The reality is, that's a good thing. You get it when you need it, and the handling on RPM attributes help you get it even faster. Remember, RPM is a multiplicative stat too, so this build set is very strong. I've been running this build all week, and I love it. Last week, I put out this build especially created around the capacitor for fast time to kill. In that video, I break down why this exotic is so powerful despite the small mag. It stacks multiplicative damage and has crit mods and handling on it. Striker does the same and adds the amplified damage too. So normally you're averaging around 45% accuracy with this thing. And with Striker, I'm averaging about 50%. That's actually a big difference. We complain about how tanky NPCs are in this game. They're running around with armor between 7 million to 30 million and more. And legendary NPCs are the worst, right? But that's a good thing for Striker. That means you can keep up your stack, especially if you're spawn camping, which I am doing here, even in legendary. Dogs, chungas, tanks, they're great because they help you easily build up those stacks. And in many cases, I'm able to bring down a named boss, legendary chunga, or tank in a single mag, or very close to it. The tankiest of named elite bosses in two mags. Remember, the capacitor has a smaller mag than most assault rifles. It has only 40 rounds. So being able to almost or fully eliminate a heavy in a single mag is very impressive. If you didn't know, classified builds are secret builds made just for Texas Players Club, true and hardcore bandito member levels. If you want to tap into these, you can get access today by clicking the join button below this video. Be sure you select the true bandito member level or higher. Each of the hybrid builds I created offer a different strength. When making hybrids, the struggle is to get the primary weapon to be in balance with the skills. In many cases, the skills are way more stronger than the primary weapon. For this build, that's not the case. I set it up to be inline, but with the amplified damage, RPM, and handling boost, the strength of the weapon actually overshadows the skill's power. It makes the skills seem weak, but they're not. This has six skill tiers, 60% damage bust from the AR, plus a 30% from Memento, and the 25% from Glass Cannon. These skills are rocking, but the AR is rocking more. So with the skills just as strong as any of the other hybrids you've tried, but with the primary so much stronger, this build is way more powerful. It doesn't have the survivability as the other three per se, but remember, time to kill is survivability too, and it's way up there. Of course, in Legendary, you do take a lot of damage regardless of the build. The armor on kill and regen keep you from having to use your armor kits all the time. Here is the second version I ran. This one is gonna have more power, but no armor on kill. Instead of Wyvern Chest, I have Cheska. I did this because I wanted six skill tiers and two weapon damage cores. That's one more than before. The skill damage is a tiny bit higher on this one because we're running Technician, which gives us the skill tier plus 10% more skill damage. The main version is the one I ran most and enjoyed most. It's only when I started to play solo legendary over and over that I decide to run this other version. The real reason is because I wanted the 12% additional damage to robotics, but we are getting more power everywhere. You don't exactly need the additional power unless you're running legendary solo. Even then, you don't actually need it. The first version worked awesome as ever. If you want to experience the Division 2 in new and exciting ways like you see here, you need to hook up with like-minded peeps. And the Tux clans are popping thanks to some great leaders and banditos. If you want to get involved, head over to my Discord. I felt bad playing in groups with this because I was stealing all the kills, and I'm not exaggerating. I know some don't like wearing Memento because people steal your kills, but with this build, that's not going to be an issue. Three of us ran DUA on Legendary together, and I pulled out over 300 kills in our session. That's just insane. I just put out the weekly challenge to do District Union Arena backwards, which is hella fun. Give it a try and use this build to do it. Tuxedo out.